Welcome back guys. Today we are going to compound emulsion and for this we are going to use a dry gum method. So for the dry gum method we have uh, to add oil to the gum first, right? So I hope you remember from the last semester's uh, you know, class. So for this we have a canola oil and water and gum. So in 4 is to 2 is to 1 method that is 4 parts of oil and 2 parts of water and 1 part of acacia. So by the way, here is a question. So the water and uh, oil are in liquid form and the acacia is in, in a powder form. So how you are going to calculate the ingredients, the amount, what you need for 100 ml of emulsion is up to you. You calculate based on your experience. All right. So let's get started. So what I did is I transferred acacia into the mortar and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add oil to this mixture so I'm going to add all I'm adding oil all the oil to have so and the next step is you levigate now so once you levigate thoroughly now what we do is we add water so we are adding two parts of water okay so after adding two parts of water, again you levigate thoroughly until you hear. So you have to, rapid stirring is required now here. So stir it rapidly until you hear a crackling sound. So you hear a crackling sound at one point. So that is where you're done. So so you you have a, a creamy white emulsion like this so that is it done okay the only difference between a wet gum method and the dry gum method is so now I have shown you the dry gum method right so in the wet gum method what we do is we add water okay so we add water to the acacia the, to the gum first okay so don't add all the water what you have at a time just add what in a little bit at a time and form a uh, nice uh, mixture so then to this you are going to add oil again in, in part by parts so I prefer adding part by parts alright so that is it